Today was a high holiday for many marijuana lovers across the state. It's just you have a better feeling. Everyone's just happy. But today's festivities in California had a special significance. It was the first 420 since recreational use of marijuana was legalized. CBS 13's Drew Balea is live in the newsroom getting answers about why some are still in a haze when it comes to the law, Drew. Well, Prop 64 was the beginning, the framework for what the cannabis industry will look like in the state. But a $6 billion industry takes a little bit of time to regulate. And right now, there are some misconceptions and hazy areas still being worked out. We is just a, a great substance. 420 is for cannabis enthusiasts. Just getting together, sharing the love, you know, and um, just all about having a good time. Pot loving people celebrated the product and the passing of Prop 64. I think it's pretty groundbreaking. Damian Lynch helped organize a Midtown Sacramento event filled with food, some booze, and of course, marijuana. It's opening a whole new economy. In a rapidly evolving industry, the rules and regulations are currently a step behind. The gray area, as we all talk about, and we're figuring it out as we go. Nobody quite knows uh, uh, what's going on there yet. Jason Kinney ran the Yes on 64 campaign. He says while Prop 64 made certain rules clear, there are still plenty of misconceptions about what's legal and what's not. People assume that it's legal to go buy marijuana anytime, anywhere. Um, that's not true. And can you smoke in public? Now you can. Not exactly. Essentially, public consumption is, is, is prohibited under Prop 64. When it comes to commercial regulations, right now, pot shops can't sell to anyone without a medical card, and rules for events and private businesses are still in limbo. What Prop 64 does allow, you can use products in your home, possess small amounts of cannabis, grow plants in your home, and share some of those products with your friends. As for the smoke out pot parties, Right now, they're operating in a cloudy gray area. The first draft of those state regulations are due out in a couple weeks. Then there will be a public awareness campaign to educate people about those regulations beginning in the fall. And state licenses for commercial marijuana, those uh, commercial marijuana businesses rather, those will be issued on January 1st. So we're getting close. Still so much to iron out though. All right, Drew, thanks so much for that live report.